The most enormous challenges that my community faces is uh, ranges from corruption, access to justice for victims of sexual and gender-based violence, to harmful cultural practices. I believe that in order to stand up for the challenges of our time in our country, Sierra Leone, and in Africa generally, I think young, young people must develop a greater sense of responsibility. Young people must be more communal in their approaches to solving social problems rather than just finding a way to make a living for themselves and for their family. So we should try as young people to always engender dialogue, compromise, and create a ground, a common ground for articulating our ideas and for harnessing these ideas into actionable plans for the development, for the growth of Africa generally. For Yali Fellows in particular, I believe that we have had a rich blend of uh, collaborative governance, entrepreneurial development, social investment, civic leadership. I think we can use all of these skills. We've been sprayed with silver in all these areas of governance and leadership. I think we go back home and then try to use this to interpret this into actionable objectives which will address the growth, economic development and social ills of our societies and be able to work together with our separate national identities building with a common goal for the advancement of Africa. The presidential precinct laid in front of us a crowded canvas of opportunities from the slave narratives of Ashlon Highland to the ideas of independence at Monticello on to the constitution making and democratic governance at Montpellier. There couldn't have been a finer blend of cultural orientation, civic and entrepreneurial education and leadership stimulation. So I believe that back home we're going to be able, we should be able to harness all of this and then make sure that our action, our interventions translate into values which we brought from the presidential precinct. My country is currently involved in a constitutional re review process and the constitutional review committee is trying as much as possible to have citizens' views, citizens' suggestions and recommendations as to what should go into the new constitution or what should be modified, what should be removed from the, 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 the old constitution. I believe some of the lessons we learned at Montpellier uh, include the fact that for any constitutional uh, situation to, th to thrive, for any new constitutional model to work well for the people, the citizen's voice should be heard. I also learned from the constitution making session that for a very good constitution, for a very good uh, democratic constitution we, constitution, we need to have opposing forces. We need to have opposing views. We need to have parties on different sides of the political debate to sit together and then be able to express their individual interests, be able to express the things which they feel very strongly about so that we try to create a common ground. We try to always create a way that will increase compromise. We might not always agree on one thing. We might not always agree on each other's views, but we should always try to ensure that we come to meet one another halfway so that once we get a document, it will represent everybody's voice. If we always work together in unison, we can be very strong. I believe collaboration is the strongest shoulder for the youth of Africa to climb.